Kat, and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So today I'm finally sitting down to share with you some of my favorite long wearing, transfer resistant lip products. And I'm super excited to be sharing this video with you because I honestly am a huge, huge lover of long wearing lip products. It's always been something I've looked for when um, evaluating lip products. Um, and especially now with wearing masks and, you know, putting masks on and then taking masks off, but you know, you sometimes want a lip product that, you know, will hold up well, that if you are wearing it out and about, and then you need to put a mask on, you can do that. Fortunately, in the clean beauty space, there are a number of options and I've really been trying and testing these lip products and I've come here to kind of give you my evaluations of what I think works, what I recommend, um, and I have some different types of lip products and different formulas. So hopefully there's something for everyone. First off, I'm going to start off with the lip product that I'm wearing today, which has been one of my all time favorite discoveries. And this is the Jane Iredell lip stain. And I have the shade fascination. I also picked up the shade cherish. Um, it's <laughs> cherish is this very much pink shade. I honestly do not like the shade cherish nearly as much as the shade fascination. That was my only downside with the with this formula is I felt like they, there were a lot of colors, but not a lot of the shades that I would necessarily gravitate towards. Um, Fascination is definitely the one that I would gravitate towards the most. I didn't think that Cherish was going to be quite as bright of a pink, but it's definitely a very bright pink. I think this will be a great shade for the spring, but in the fall, it's not really my cup of tea. I love this formula and I was trying to figure out when I was looking at their website if all of the shades have shimmer in them. It seems like some have shimmer and some don't. I highly, highly, highly recommend the shades with the shimmer in it. And here's why. This is a liquid lipstick product. They call it a lip stain, but it really is a liquid lipstick product. And having that little bit of shimmer in it is just so forgiving. It makes the lipstick look so much better on your lips because traditionally liquid lipsticks can be really drying. They can accentuate dryness on your lips. They can kind of settle in the lines but just having that bit of shimmer just gives it a nice glow, a nice glossiness, and it doesn't look like you're just wearing a matte, dry liquid lipstick. But what I love about this formula is it's super comfortable, even though it does dry down completely, and it really doesn't transfer. Like, when I kiss my hand, nothing. Like, absolutely no transfer. So this product holds up super well when you're wearing a mask, when you're eating, like, this is just, a very minimal bus uh, lipstick. You put it on in the morning, you can go on your way. I would say out of all the liquid lipsticks I've tried, um, this has definitely been the best one. I find that it holds up the best and it just looks good. Like that's another thing, it just looks good. So if you can find a shade of this product um, that you think you would like, I would highly recommend it. Like I said, I would try to pick one of the shades that have shimmer. Luckily, other than the shade Fascination, which does not say that it has shimmer in it, but definitely does, the other shades I noticed like will say if they have shimmer or not. Like, it doesn't look like I'm wearing glitter on my lips, but my lips look very nice, very hydrated. They just look good. The next one I have to shout out is from Clove and Hallow. And I've been a huge fan of these liquid lipsticks for years. And the reason why is they are just a really awesome, amazing product. Uh, Clove and Hello has been kind of revamping their brand, but they have kept their liquid lipsticks in their line. Thank goodness, because we would all be in trouble with that move. This one is similar to the Jane Iredale in that it is a liquid lipstick. It dries down completely matte. I would find it to be a little bit more drying than the Jane Iredale personally. Um, it still is comfortable for me, but it's not quite as comfortable as the Jane Iredale in terms of formula, but this one also is completely budge proof. It doesn't transfer. It just stays in place really well throughout the day. This is the shade Darling, which is kind of the most, for me, like a very neutral shade. It's very much kind of a nudie pink shade, which I like. I really also love the shade Fiesta if you're looking for a really fun red shade. Over the years, Club & Hallow has really expanded their shade range in this product, so there are lots of options. Um, also, I also know that Club & Hallow runs like great sales around the holiday time. So if you're you know, looking to purchase some of their liquid lipsticks, I'd highly recommend, you know, holding out until around Black Friday, there probably will be some sales, some really good sales for that. But this is different from the Jane Iredell in that it is a matte look, lipstick. It does look very matte. It's just a very different effect. Um, I would have swatched all these for you guys, but with them being long wearing lipsticks, my lips would have been completely rough. I'd have been trying to swap the swap shades in and out. Actually, what I should do, I will sacrifice my hand. Let me swatch um, some of these on my hand. 
This is the Jane Arda lip stain um, on my hand here. So this is the shade Fascination, which I have on my lips. But I think you can see, I mean, obviously it hasn't dried down fully, but I think you can see the fact that it is catching the light. Like it's not just a purely matte product. Next to it, I'm gonna swatch the Cloven Hello Liquid Lipstick in the shade Darling. Much, much more matte. So there it is. I've got a couple more liquid lipstick. The next one I'm going to talk about is this one from Aether Beauty. This is their relaunched, um, I don't know what the name of this product is. This is their lipstick. Um, and I have the shade Motivate. I've tried a few different shades of this product. Um, I definitely like the shade. It's very much a kind of bright poppy pink. I was wearing this in a video. I think I was wearing this in my October favorites video. And I was like, when I was editing back the footage, I really liked this shade on me. I thought it was a really fun color. So like the Jane Iredale and the Cloven Hello, this is a liquid lipstick. However, I would differentiate the formula of this one from those other ones. Um, and that I find that this lipstick doesn't dry down fully, which does make it more comfortable um, in terms of just, well, actually I find the Jane Iredale to be perfectly comfortable <laughs> regardless of drying down or not. But compared to like your tradition, what you traditionally think about with a matte liquid lipstick that dries down fully. This one is the Aether Beauty is more comfortable because it stays a little bit tacky, not too much, but just a little bit. But because it doesn't dry down fully, um, I find that it doesn't hold up quite as well. It is going to transfer a bit on you. It is going to kind of smear around a little bit. Is it better than wearing just, just a creamy lipstick or a lip gloss? Yes, but it's not going to be a perfectly budge-proof formula. Whereas I would classify the Cloven Hallow and the um, Jane Iredale as butch free formulas. Similarly, the we have the Honest Beauty Liquid Lipstick. Once again, the Honest Beauty doesn't dry down fully, which makes it more comfortable, but it also has the same issue of it does tend to smudge and transfer a bit more than the Jane Iredale or the Cloven Hallow because of that. I, have, I did a clean out recently and had to repurchase but I purchased the shade Forever, which is the shade right here. So once again, it's a nice product. If you were to, wanting to go in a liquid lipstick direction, I would recommend the Jane Iredale or the Cloven Hello over the Aether or the Honest Beauty in terms of longevity. We now are going to talk about lip crayons. And this is really one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video or these lip crayons. However, <laughs> you now can't purchase them, which drives me crazy. These are the Rose Ink Lip, uh, lip Crayons. Um, unfortunately, they seem to be temporarily discontinued. I'm hoping that they're just like updating the packaging because the packaging of these is not great. I've talked about those previously, but the formula of these is absolutely and utterly amazing. Um, I find them to be very long wearing. They don't dry down to the same extent that a liquid lipstick does, but I do find that they, they stay really nice and matte on the lip. And they really do not tend to fade, to smudge. They just wear super well. Right here is the shade Beams, um, which is a very much a neutral shade. I also have the shade Still, which is a really nice red-ish shade. I feel like, especially as we move closer to the holiday season, I'm gonna be reaching for the shade Still a lot. But I absolutely love this. This has been a game-changing product. I have no fear of putting that on and putting a mask on top. I know when I get to my destination, my lipstick is still gonna look perfect. The next um, lip crayon I wanna talk about is from Axiology. I recently repurchased this because uh, my other one expired, but I absolutely love this product. This is the lip crayon. I have a shade Enduring, which is just such a beautiful shade. To be fully, fully honest, oh, actually the shade Enduring, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. The shade Enduring is almost a perfect dupe for the shade Beams. No wonder I like the shade Enduring. So this is Enduring here. This is um, Rose Ink and the shade Beams. But the Axiology Lip Formula reminds me so much of the Rose Ink. So if you're looking for a product like that, I would highly recommend the Axiology Lip Crayons. To me, it transfers a little bit more than the Rose Ink, but overall it still holds up, stays in place much, much better than just regular lipsticks. Um, so you're definitely going to get a much longer wear and less smudging and less transferring. Okay, and then the last lip crayon I wanna shout out is this one from Honest Beauty. Um, they have a couple different lip crayons. I specifically like the Demi Matte formula the best. And this is the shade Melon, which I think is just a beautiful shade. So this is the sh shade Melon in the Honest Beauty Demi Matte lipstick. 
This one is not quite as long wearing and bunch proof as the Axiology and the Rose Ink. However, it is a lot better than a lot of other things on the market. And the thing with this one that's different than the Rose Ink and the Axiology is it goes on a little bit more slippery and it kind of dries down with time. After it's dried down, I find the wear to be pretty good. While it's still pretty creamy, it is going to slide around and move around on you. So with this product, it's the kind of one where I would recommend applying it a little bit before you need to put a mask on and giving it that time to kind of set. Because if you apply it and then just put a mask right on, it is going to smudge around like a regular lipstick. So I wouldn't recommend that. But if you're willing to kind of give it a chance to dry down, it still is good. But I would say Axiology um, or Rose Ink is just better in terms of longevity and lack of transfer. Okay, the last lip product I want to recommend is a bit of a wild card. And this is the Lauren Conrad Beauty Lipstick, and I have the shade Shell. The only way I can describe this lipstick is it's like a matte cream lipstick that's basically the formula of a lip crayon, but in a lipstick. I've swatched it right here on my hand. You can tell I really, you can see the shades I've been really gravitating towards in lipstick recently. But here's um, Shell swatch right here. And this is a very matte lip stick. Um, it's not super, it's not drying. It's just like a matte lipstick. And to me, it wears very similar, similarly to the Rose Ink and Axiology Lip Crayons and that it is very long wearing. It's obviously never going to be quite as smudge proof and transfer proof as a liquid lipstick that dries down, but it still holds up surprisingly and amazingly well. So I really have enjoyed that lipstick and it's been one that I've been reaching for for pretty much <laughs> like a year, year and a half at this point, and just repeatedly. It's a very nice um, lipstick. It just holds up well, it wears well. You know, if I put a mask on with it, I'm not gonna find the lipstick all over my mask, which I very, very much appreciate. So overall, I would say those are my recommendations, my suggestions out of all the lipsticks that I've tried. These are the ones I can get behind and say, these are going to wear the best on you, especially if you're taking masks on and off. Obviously, there's nothing that's going to be perfectly transfer proof, but these are a lot better than just reaching for a regular cream lipstick and certainly better than the lip gloss or anything like that. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel and be sure to click the bell button so you're notified of when I post new videos. And come follow me on Instagram. I'm an actually beautiful cat there. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.